Hello guys, welcome to my channel, my name is Luciano and today we are doing an unboxing of a new blade for the channel. This one is a Tanto, it's a Japanese dagger. I bought it uh, on internet and uh, I bought it with the help of some of the subscribers of my, my channel. Uh, they helped me uh, with uh, financial effort. Uh, to, to get the, the Zyton. It's not expensive, uh, it's actually very affordable. So first of all, I want to thank, thank all of my supporters and right now I am doing the unboxing. We, are te we will test uh, the sharpness of the blade and I will give some of the, the specs of this blade because uh, Tanto uh, daggers, tanto blades, are very hard to find uh, uh, in the shape that this one is. Because most of the, the, the blades that we have available to, to sell, uh, they are not really uh, tanto uh, in the shape and the characteristics of the Japanese dagger. It's not the one uh, that uh, samurai use it. Okay. Uh, usually what we have are some blades like this one that have this distinctive uh, triangular point and they call this uh, tanto point and they call this a tanto uh, but this is not a tanto okay so this is the reason why I, t I look it to buy uh, this this item well let's do the unboxing Here you can see it's a uh, tanto uh, in this, the, with the koshirai of a shirasaya. It's Okay, so right now we already have seen the, the blade. I believe this, this blade is probably made of carbon steel because it's, it's uh, oiled. You can see uh, it has a, a coat of oil to protect the blade from the rusting. If this was uh, stainless steel, uh, it ha won't have the... would not have the this uh, necessity of protecting the blade uh, from oxidation applying oil so probably this this is carbon steel and now let's check uh, the sharpness of the blade the way I received it Well, it's cutting, uh, but we can improve it. Okay, so let's check the dimensions of the, the blade uh, with all this, the, the stuff of the blade. Uh, the complete uh, item is around uh, 300 millimeters or 30 centimeters. Um, 
Okay. Now removing the blade, let's measure the the sire, the scabbard, and it has 96 millimeters or 9.6 centimeters. Let's go for the blade. Uh, so the Tsuka has so the Tsuka has 103 millimeters or 10 centimeters point three. The thickness of the this, the the handle or the Tsuka has uh, 20 millimeters or two centimeters. Uh, very nice. Uh, thickness for the handle and also my bookends have uh, the same thickness uh, in the, the handle so very similar uh, with the bookings that I've been training uh, all my life now let's go for the, the blade it has exactly seven inches of blade very similar to many blades that I have, many knives that I have, but this one uh, is the only one that I have with uh, the, the character, characteristics of a real Tanto. 4.9 millimeters on the, the base near the Habaki. Going further, it keeps the same 4.9 millimeters and it tapers near the point to 1.6 millimeters near the tip so a very strong blade uh, uh, very suitable for stabbing uh, hard materials uh, but even being a very thick blade uh, with almost 5 millimeters of thickness uh, I can see that this blade has a Hirazukuri uh, shape so from the, the, the back of the blade to the edge it's a flat surface so it goes uh, almost straight it can cut very well uh, uh, the, the angle is not steep as you can would find on a katana it's uh, more acute uh, it should be uh, make some pressure against the inner walls of the, the sire and keep the, the blade inside the sire let's see well the habaki do it, its job now let's check the blade itself it has the I believe it's brass uh, on the habaki the, the handle or, or the tsuka uh, is wood I don't know what kind of wood it is but it's uh, very very nice uh, beauty uh, wood it's not lacquered but very, very simple uh, what you would expect for uh, for a shirasaya probably I can uh, change the um, the fittings uh, I can change the handle and the saya uh, to a, a normal koshirai uh, if I find uh, other pieces for it and I also don't know how is the nakago the tang inside the handle of this blade and we can see there is a little space in the habaki here uh, on the back of the blade but uh, the, the blade it's very well fixed it don't doesn't move at all well, now let's see what this blade can do to a cat <laughs> just a joke uh, Capito wants to to take part on the video. Well, 
Now we have the, the blade here. It's very nice polished, polishing, uh, very very nice um, finishing. You can see it. Uh, it's it's mirror polished around here. But the the Ramon is not a real Ramon. Uh, it's uh, in fact a kind of file work to make a different appearance on the, on the edge but for me no problem about about this if the blade uh, was uh, well tempered and quenched there's no need for Hamon on a modern blade but very nice and here we have uh, some info uh, it says CEJ8320S China this blade was made in China and the other side of the, the blade there is a stamp uh, where we can read AVB I don't know if it's the brand of the company that made the, the blade but this is the only uh, blade with the characteristics of a true Tanto that I found uh, available here in Brazil and it has a very affordable price for a brand new blade. We will see uh, the same blade uh, around here in other videos talking about how samurai would use uh, such kind of dagger. Please don't forget to share this video with your friends and if you are not a subscriber for my channel, please subscribe. I hope you liked this video and I see you later.